Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Life is Strange. Now moving on to episode 4, Dark Room. I'm super excited, so let's get started guys. Thank you for joining me on this awesome journey through Life is Strange. So much hype for this one. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Oh, I've got goosebumps. Oh, this episode's gonna be so good, guys. Oh, yeah. Choose wisely. Little Krabby, run! Must suck only being able to go sideways. Never forward and never back, only sideways. <laughs> Poor whales. Oh my god, so many. There she is. Hopefully we get to learn what happened in this reality to her and how she ended up in a wheelchair. Oh man, I feel so sorry for these whales. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. That's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. 
You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Yeah, I want to know what happened. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This wow. Is <laughs> such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? It's After that just snow a different eclipse, world altogether. It's like the end of the world. Oh. Uh. Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max... Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. Wow. <laughs> it's just so odd. She's just like, well, not surprised. She's totally lost her mojo and her spunk, hasn't she? But so weird she doesn't even know Rachel at least Max actually wrote to her in this reality <laughs> wonder if we'll remain stuck in this reality for this episode or if they'll start to merge together because of the trailer there was the uh, two moons in the trailer wasn't there which indicates the two worlds or two realities merging together so i don't know we shall see i'm super excited though it's really sad seeing chloe like that oh, it's a pretty high-tech layer Damn. Like cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you're here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. 
pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Okay, here's the moment we can start looking around the room. This is so sad. I'm so sorry, Chloe. This is like, I would, I would totally prefer the other reality for Chloe right about now. Because... I don't know, I feel so sorry for anyone in this situation, so... <sighs> it's sad. Really sad. Uh, I don't want to do that yet, because I want to investigate stuff. There's the old Chloe. Yeah, still hints of the old Chloe there. Around the room. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Chloe is still a punk at heart, but she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Let's have a look. For your safety, do not give any personal information to any person to this sh in this chat room. You are responsible for knowing the chat room rules. Miss Blue, so what are you doing? Talking with you, haha, no shit. I'm about to binge on Quantum Leap. Oh my god, love Scott Bakula. Bakula? Rules, anyway. So do you, I hope we can meet soon. Not if you're in San Francisco. Hey, I have to take care of some body work. Let me get back to you while you're binging on Bakula. You better, hello. And she didn't. Aww. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Chloe, you know we love you and you're in our hearts and thoughts. We hope to see your smiling face soon. Please be well. Thinking of you. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Dear Chloe, I'm so sorry for what happened. Know that I'm here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again. Megan. Megan? Hmm, Megan doesn't ring a bell. I wasn't very available to Chloe. <laughs> Real nice. Chloe, just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like... I hope you are well, etc. I know your life is so different now, and I don't want that to get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. I hope you are well. Love, Max. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. Oh my I'm god, sure look at that shirt. <laughs> it's a hot dog. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, I love it. Let's have a look. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Well, you kind of did, but you didn't. You didn't intentionally put her in it, did you? But you'd still feel pretty crap Snow about it. Are taking over. All the places that she may never get to go due to her condition. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. And that's the same character that was on Max's shirt there, next to the uh, teddy bear. That's a serious heat lamp. Well, the fluffy animals will be for comfort, won't they? Because, you know, it's going to be pretty lonely in here. Especially since we know so far that no one else has really visited her or written her or anything. So, you know, cuddle a teddy bear will make you feel better. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. It 
least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh man, she has to use that ventilator just to breathe. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Right, I think we've looked at everything in the room now, so let's get this water. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? <laughs> Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Seems like yesterday. <laughs> to me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god, we covered everything in flour. <laughs> Even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not I am Supermax. <laughs> That's what my parents are for. I know this is a dumb question, but are you lonely here? Yes, dumb question. I don't mind being alone. I can't exactly go party like a rock star, though. Or get an 18 trouble with the folks. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe. Wow. You're priceless. Uh, life is priceless, intended. but you it's still difficult to pay that amount That's why a year. I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. <laughs> now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Oh my god, it's making me get all uh, <laughs> emotional here. So I need to look in the drawer and find a movie then. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Nothing but medical supplies. I suppose it would be uh, right next to her bed. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. Ah, here's the DVD. Want to have oh a look around, though. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Pirate power! Yahar! I 
I think I've looked everywhere, haven't I? Can I open these drawers now? Yes, I can. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. Well, that's like totally different to the Chloe we know previously with the bad grades, being a rebel. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund, even if it wasn't another reality. Oh, let's have a look. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, as principal, I am sim I am in sympathy with your numerous requests for Chloe's special needs in regards to her wheelchair and class accessibility. Blackwell prides itself on making sure students with disabilities receive full co compliance under the Americans with Disabilities Act. However, given that the campus and buildings have all been constructed pre-1977, our school has not yet undergone the modern renovations necessary to fulfil all the needs of your daughter and her regrettable condition. Sadly, with recent deplorable federal cut in education it will take many more fundraiser fundraisers to fully update blackwell academy but that day will come chloe is without doubt an amazing student with great potential despite her handicap and i believe she would find a more fitting rewarding scholastic environment scholastic oh, hopefully i said that right environment at the h west Missa Miss Catonic Institute in Bolton. They have a rich legacy of disabled graduates and I know that Chloe would achieve her usual academic leadership in more comfortable surroundings. With her outstanding GPA, there is no doubt that Miss Catonic Miss Catonic, I think that's right. Would welcome Chloe with open halls. I hope you will seriously consider this suggestion and I'm and I'm sure your daughter would prefer to attend a school that they can cater to her many needs. In the same spirit, I've also enclosed brochures for other potential schools in the Oregon region. If you have any questions, please contact my office. Yeah. So basically, it's a fob off. He's tried to come across as caring and that, but it is a fob off, isn't it? Um... You're really my only friend who kept... Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight-A student. She could have gone to any college. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating, too. But she can't do it, though, sadly. Right, I think we're done, aren't we? Let's go and put this into the DVD player. No Blu-ray? Pah! I suppose spending a million dollars a year. Stick with DVD. Oh, it's nice to see a smile, though. I mean... It is so hard seeing her like this. Just wake her up. Just wake Max up. Max, you're heavy. Get off. <laughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company. 
Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's... Uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Obviously, we've got to go through this door. Gosh. Well, guys. I feel like now is a good time to stop this episode before we start exploring the rest of Chloe's house. Oh, let's have a look at these first of all. It's weird being friends with her. Oh, and Nathan as well. Love you. Oh my god, she's such a suck-up to Max, so I'm guessing Max is pretty popular in this reality. Anyway, yes guys, I am going to stop this episode here. Um, let's see... yeah, that's it. So, on the next episode, we will be continuing from where we left off. Don't forget to like, comment, favourite, and share. Let's actually have a look at these messages, thinking about it. I did drown it. <laughs> I fed it too much and it wasn't happy. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, that's it. Okay, guys. So don't forget to like, comment, favorite and share and I shall see you next time.